we decided to um, cut Cooper's hair because on the coronavirus, we can't go to the haircut place to cut his hair. So we decided to cut his hair by ourselves. We feel like we have very limited options. His hair is getting a little shaggy. We haven't left the house for a month. Um, we don't anticipate that the kids will be leaving the house for another month. So uh, this is the best option that we have at this point. Do you think it's time for a haircut? No, not yet. Okay, so I found I found this uh, kit in our bathroom. Um, let's see what let's see what's in here. Yeah, this stuff looks like this might work. Um, I'm going to do some Googling and see see what... Uh, I know this is a comb. Um, well, this looks like... Yeah, it looks like something our hairstylist uses, so that's good. Um, scissors, another comb. Um, this, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, See what else we got. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Some wires. Yeah, I mean this looks like some good stuff here. Um, yeah, things are looking promising. Balls and the scissors. All the scissors run away. I'm gonna cut this thing. Whoa! Okay. Ready? Get a mohawk. <laughs> Put the knees on that hair. Gotta put a mohawk. Huh? Okay, so that actually went way worse than I thought it was going to go, or that I thought it could go. I'm a little disappointed in myself for uh, the outcome of the haircut. Um, I think that uh, if I was going to do it over again, I would have Googled more. Um, I maybe would not have overestimated my skills, and I would not have recruited the help of a six-year-old. But it is what it is. Um, we look forward to the salon's reopening. Uh, you know, so that professionals who know what they are doing can cut hair instead of people like me that don't. Uh, so I just want to say thank you to our hairstylists. And um, this is Easter season. It's a season of forgiveness, season of unconditional love. And so I'm hopeful that my son will find it in his heart to forgive me for what happened today. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, thank you again to our hairstylists and we've learned some lessons. We did the best that we could and hope everyone is just staying safe out there.